getting ready to go out to do me some Uber. I get a message that a writer has complained that I appear to be intoxicated. what's going on guys welcome back to the channel thank you for listening our friend dirty trucking guys go over there and check her out on her channel dirty trucking she ran into a bit of a pickle with uber i fully feel her rent here i i can uh, attest to this rent because my account with uber back in the day i used to drive for him i, I was like one of the first uber and lyft drivers that came to cleveland and we was the first out there to offer ride for riders that need to go where they need to go and i say for about a good month month and a half i did well I, I did fairly well financially back then but of course you will come across some weird riders i have come across some irate riders i have come across some entitled riders so i believe this young lady wholeheartedly when she says that a rider lied on her no more wasting time let's get it now hold on hello hello dirty trucking dirty trucking man you ain't gonna believe this i got up drinking my mushroom coffee you see i'm dressed getting ready to go out to do me some uber i get a message that a rider has complained that I appear to be intoxicated. And I get read the message further. It says, we're so sorry. It was a hard decision, but we have to temporarily block your account. I'm like, what? So I go to log on the app. My account is blocked again because a writer now claims I appear to be intoxicated. I just got off the phone with Uber Safety. I done warned them. I warned them the last time you deactivated my account on the third. Talking about I inappropriately touched somebody, was talking sexual, and it was a lie. I done warned Uber about these writers and they lied for comments. I done warned them. There is a camera in the car. I don't drink and drive. I have a CDLA. Why the hell would I risk my license driving around in a funky old operator car? You are old. You beneath me. You think I'm going to get in the car and drink? I don't drink and fucking drive. This is what Uber do. I have no idea why Uber even still have drivers. Now I understand why these individuals are out here making these commercials that I've seen telling Uber and rideshare drivers to stop driving for Uber and Lyft. Stop picking up strangers. They got another job for them. Now I see why. The Uber allows a rider to say anything about you, and then they immediately block your account. But I've noticed when they doing this stuff, they doing it when it's rent time, when it's time to pay my rent. Now, I could have got my rent in on time without a late fee. So they blocked my account today so I can't make money. Now I'm going to be assessed a late fee. So I'm going to have to talk to a, a, a state attorney general, somebody. Uber's going to pay for every late fee I, pay, I had to pay. You're going to pay for my rent. You're going to pay for them six days I missed, and you're going to pay for however many days I sit here until you figure out this mess. Now you're telling me I'm drinking. Bunch of bullshit. Uber is crazy. I, I wouldn't put it past him. I would not put it past him. Now, I don't know how she are or how she is as an Uber driver, but I, I, I tend to believe her in what she says about these uber riders lying on it. these riders want to get out of pain for their ride so in order to do that they'll come up with some cockamamie story the driver was inappropriate to me or the driver was drunk or the driver was high and uber will definitely believe the riders over the drivers the uber will quickly deactivate your account without even pause they'll deactivate your account now they will send out an email saying hey we're sorry we deactivated your account yada yada yeah back then when i got deactivated i didn't find out until i actually got on the app and then i had to go and sip through everything on what happened come to find out that one writer that i put out of my car legitimately 
like, knowing, knowing my mother, now, don't get me wrong, at the end of the day, she is my mother, and I, I do love her because she's my mother. Uh, yes, but but I guess the, the way that, 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 yeah, uh, that yeah, she's yeah. talking to me on the record, yeah, the way that she's talked to me in real life, so I kind of, you know, I guess, so made, yeah, into a, made her into a character on the record, put it that way. Okay. Because that's what, literally the way that she was talking to me as a kid. I mean, it must be kind of, for you matter. now, reflecting yeah, back yeah, and yeah, being like on a, a state yeah, of clarity I thought he was supposed to, to, to be in a so sometimes, no, no matter how much we want to do, we like our parents. Yeah, I have one. We end up like our parents. Yeah, or, or we show attributes. So I'm and not I, trying I, I to do in, in the, the chorus where, you know, you said, I am like I am because I'm like Yeah, it's I'm going to have to. We don't believe in the kind of, I guess, the saying about truth is saying, Jeff. You know, it's kind of like that. You do that. You call over, let them know that you didn't put your son in a seatbelt. Was the one that came and complained about my so-called service oh he was a he was a bad driver no no it was you sir it was you that got in my truck thinking that you're all entitled but you're not but you're not and you just got put out my truck respectfully now you gave me a little bit of pushback oh well you gotta take me to where i need to go oh you work for uber no no, I don't see you. That's where you guys get it all wrong. We are independent contractors. Now, I'm not sure how Uber works these days, but back then, we was on 1099, independent contracting. That's what we was with Uber and our own cars. These are our cars. These are our vehicles. Now, I guess Uber has like a, 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 a Uber plan that you can rent a car and you can, you can drive Uber while renting the car but back then we didn't have that we had to have our own car and when we switch up the car we had to take time out give that information to uber and then uber will reactivate our our app because we had to change the vehicles it wasn't like the car break down i go get another car and then i'll come up in that car but of course that gives somebody pause hey they pulled up in a in a 1999 toyota and the app says it was a 2024 fiesta well sir my car is in the shop and i just got my my cousin's car so that i can make continue to make money so i can pay for the repairs to my car but here you are sending that information you got to your destination with no problem friendly service but yeah you thought since you didn't want to pay for your service you thought let me go ahead and and report them and let the, and let uber know that they came in a different car so of course you gotta call uber and let them know which car that you're driving so they can assess that car to the app which is now i get i get that now that didn't happen to me personally it happened to a few people that i know that had situations with their car but they still had to make money so they had to borrow a friend's car or a family's car or even go and rent the car because their car was down for a period of time and they got deactivated until they got their own car fixed or until they send in the car that they was driving now the caveat to that to the car that they was driving it has to be their car and of course they had to show proof so yeah our girl dirty trucking uh, she's no longer a truck driver but she still holds her class a cdl and i again like i said i believe her why why would she risk her cdls especially for uber like who does that if you ain't gonna risk your cdl for a semi truck or a cdl a type job what the hell i'm looking like gonna risk my cdl for uber or lyft but I hope everything works out for this young lady. It look like she's in a financial pickle with her living situation, but hopefully she gets that together. You can also do Lyft, maybe. That might be an option. DoorDash. They say you can make money with DoorDash. And a lot of people choose this DoorDash over Uber anyway. You don't have to be bothered with the ride. But just go pick up the food and send the food. But you got to understand, like, some places is, like, real cheap. And But DoorDash keeps saying that you can make money with it. Though. But how? How? But in any case, in any case, shout out to my girl, Dirty Trucking from uh, Detroit. Make sure you guys come over and subscribe to her. She... 
She has some wild and crazy stories for you guys. Whether you love her or hate her, you're going to feel her. Dirty Trucking on YouTube. I done warned Uber about these riders and they lied for comments. I done warned them. There is a camera in the car. I don't drink and drive. I have a CDLA. Why the hell would I risk my license driving around in a funky old operator car? You are old. Drop shit and still make it look good. I get that. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 